Hi, Eric Neufeld here at Dedinke Outdoors, and I'm going to run you through rigging a tube fly with the two, two basic ways, one with a standard straight eye hook and the other way with a up eye octopus style hook. Okay, so I'm going to take a standard tube fly here. This is, this is the Sylvanator fly. Um, the great thing about this fly is that you can see on the back here that it has a little bit of your, your tubing here. Most tube flies will have what's called junction tubing or tubing off the back. So to rig this fly with a straight eye hook, standard straight eye hook that you'd buy you know, at any store is simply take your, your monofilament, run it through the eye of the hook or through the tube, right out the back, and then go ahead and simply apply or tie a standard clinch knot. So I'll take my hook. I think most people are very familiar with tying a, a clinch knot. Go ahead and take the hook, run it through the eye. You can also do an improved clinch knot here too. Wrap the tag end around the main part of the leader. Eight to ten times is sufficient. Take the tag end, go back through the loop right here at the base of the eye. Tighten the, tighten the knot up and simply pull the tube at this point back onto the hook. You can go ahead and trim that tag if you want. I have my handy able nippers right here. Trim the tag if you'd like. Take the tube fly, just let it slide right down onto the junction tubing. And that junction tubing will allow that hook, see if I can show that to you here, to snug right into the tube. There you go, perfect. And now the fly is ready to fish. So simple, simple clinch knot with a straight eye hook, tie a clinch knot, snug it in. No problem, easy to do. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and tie the tube fly, the sylvanator, using an up eye hook or an octopus style hook with a no slip loop, loop or um, a lefties loop as some people call it. So the, I went ahead and strung the, the tube fly straight onto the leader. First step is I'm gonna go ahead and tie an overhand or granny knot. I'm not gonna pull it tight, but I'm gonna go ahead and make the loop, okay? Second part is I'm going to go ahead and take the octopus style hook and run it right onto the tag end. Now you notice I'm using a pink hook. The fly itself has a pink head. The pink hook looks hot, looks good. Now that I've run the hook onto the tag end, I'm going to go ahead and take the hook in my right hand, I'm going to go ahead and take the leader and just wrap it right around the hook and run the tag end back through the eye of the hook. And what this is doing is creating the loop on the back of the hook. So I'll go ahead and bring it back. Maybe you can see the loop. I've created a small loop. At this point, I can go ahead and adjust this loop that I made. It's a little bit far forward, so I'm just going to go ahead and slide it back. You can do that by just feeding, pulling and feeding. Move the, the, the overhand knot slightly closer to the eye of the hook. I'm going to go ahead, take the tag end, go back through the loop. Take the tag end, wrap it around the main part of the leader five times. Take the tag end now, go back through the overhand loop. And pull it tight. 
take my handy able nippers, trim the tag end, take the fly, slide it down, slide the loop straight into straight into the fly. The loop or the knot that I just created will get stuck right on the small part of the tube that's actually buried just past this bead. Um, and you can see that the, the hook is in perfect position with the tail. And the fly is ready to fish. That's using the no-slip loop or the lefties loop to rig a tube fly.